everybody welcome back happy sunday afternoon what have you been getting up to is it freezing and snowy wherever you are this is what i want to is i don't think it's been snowing any more here but there was a lot of snow earlier on today it was a winter wonderland um, and i don't mean the one down in london where you've got to pay 25 pounds to go through the door um which apparently is no and um, i think they said all the food and everything else is really expensive i've not been there it's a winter wonderland out in nature is what it is um we've got a fun packed rest of the day today and um, we've got a master class and it's all about christmas crafting and later on we've got second chance sunday which is your opportunity to get hold of some of those great deals that we've had throughout the week. Now, if you didn't see us on the earlier show, which was a craft along, which is unusual for a Sunday morning, um, it was an amazing craft along, incredibly inspiring um, item that Debbie made for us. It looked really, really good. And of course, we had a guest as well. Um, so looking forward to seeing what Christine's take was, was on it after we've had like, proper photographs and everything of the finished items. Definitely looking forward to that. And of course, first thing in the morning, we did spin our wheel. And this is the wheel for the 12 days of Craftmas like what we did there. Um, every day we're going to spin the wheel and give you the opportunity to, to win something, to get some discount off. Or um, and one of these is to move up um, a Club Inspire, um, what do you call it? Ro what do we call it? Rung on the ladder, yeah, rung on the ladder on the Club Inspire. So earlier on today, I spat it and you received a free gift. So the free gift is if you spend £10 or $10, you will receive this Love and Kisses um, stamp and die set for absolutely nothing. I always like to get something for absolutely nothing. Um, it's always good to have. Um, and this will last until 11.59 um, tonight and then it will reset and tomorrow it will be spun tomorrow by Ben and who knows what it may be. Um, thank goodness I'm not on my own. I thought I might have been earlier on but I'm not. Thank goodness. Um, I have the lovely Debbie with me. Hello Debbie, how are you doing? All Better? Right, thank you. <laughs> I'm fine, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Now you've had lunch? Yes, yes, yes. Now we're back. Now we're back. Coffee in hand as well. Yep. So we've got a nice coffee. Julia's even sorted me out with some water, so I'll be all good to go. Uh, but yes, I'm really looking forward to this one. Mm. Love a little bit of Christmas, getting in that Christmas spirit. Um, so I think this one will be a good one as well, because we've got some nice nice items on the show. We do, yeah, we do. Yeah, some really nice items, so it could uh, be a, a lovely one. And we're going to do a little bit of Christmas crafting. Yes. Yeah, getting that That's spirit. Um, and this, of course, because we're live and interactive, this is your opportunity to message in if you've got any questions. And um, perhaps you've seen an item on today's show and you're not too sure how to use it. Maybe you've got it at home and you've never taken it out of the packaging. Who would do that? Um, this is your opportunity um, to message in and ask um, Debbie any questions that you may have um, about the items or maybe about crafting in general. As I say, she knows everything. She's a font of all knowledge. All right, we should get started because we've got a lot of items here. The first one we've got is your festive frames and sentiments here. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. So a selection of four dies in here. You get, well, we have 12 dies in total. And um, the price for this is um, 30 pounds or 38 dollars. Platinum price is 24 pounds or 30 dollars 40. Um, the next item is um, all the Scoremaster and Envelobox collection. Um, I, I haven't had the opportunity to have a look at those properly yet um, with, um, with uh, some people using them. I know we've had loads and loads of people, um, as masterclasses and things like that, showing you how to use them. But I've never been here when one of those happened. So you've got this fantastic scoreboard and you've also got that Envelobox um, creator in there. £12.99 or $12.95. Platinum price is £10.39 or $10.36. Um, right. Half creator cards. We're going to be half creator cards and half price. Uh -huh. That sounds like a bit of a bargain if you don't mind having a bargain today. And this first one here is your uh, jubilant bells. Um, you can see when we're still talking about these half um, creator cards, you can see how, what we mean by those. These are absolutely beautiful. I suppose these really lend themselves to paper piecing, don't they? Lots of big spaces in there to do some paper piecing. And the next one is your joyous poinsettia. That is lovely. I love a poinsettia. That is um, the ideal um, decoration for Christmas, isn't it? And then this is your Yuletide wreath. Again, really, really pretty um, set of dies here. £25 or $29. Platinum price is £20 or $23.20. Um, they look lovely. Um, I'm going to say a few hellos while Debbie gets ready for the first demo. Um, Olga says hello, everyone, from a very rainy New York City. Lynn Blackledge is here saying afternoon from the Isle of Widget. 
I know it's the Isle of Wight, but I've always, always called it the Isle of Wittich. Um, Audrey's here saying, afternoon, Debbie and Becky. Um, and all, it's not so here, but it's a chilly minus seven. You're not joking, it's a bit chilly. Um, Michael Adams says, afternoon, ladies, we're ready to go. No, um, oh, where is Audrey? I don't, is Audrey in the UK? She's in Scotland. She's in Scotland. Um, uh, Michael Adams says, afternoon, ladies, we're ready to go. Sat with a hot latte coffee. Watching you, amazing ladies. Ooh, love a latte. Um, Janelle says, hello from a rainy Arundel, um, uh, Maryland. Um, Lois says, hello, everyone from Ohio. And Michael Adams says, they love the Christmas outfits. Well, we were talking, you know, we like a bit of a Christmas um, Christmas get-together, Christmas decorations. Um, Debbie's got some, um, I don't know what they call them, little headbands with the yeah, little things at the end, but you haven't got them. I've got a little health hat, I've got some antler, yeah. reindeer antlers, and I've even got little presents. I can't find the presents. The presents, Johnny will remember these from last year. The presents used to bounce every time I move my head because <laughs> they're like on little uh, springs that come yeah. off the top of the head. But I can't find them. I've put them in a safe spot. They were, they were all the decorations are, I, weren't they? They probably are, mm. yeah. That's why they probably are. Um, do you want to have a little look at a few samples Absolutely of these? Absolutely, we do. I mean, yep. that price, Becky, is honestly incredible. When we're talking about the size of these dies and the fact that you can create a card really very quickly and Christmas crafting that's what it should be about mm -hmm. quick easy but quite wow impactful like wowzer kind of cards especially if you're making to sell as well so um, I love these and I do love the bells I think the bells are absolutely look at that I mean, that really is absolutely beautiful. Um, and yet you're right, crying out to be paper pieced, uh, using your colours, um, whichever one you want to go with. I'll, I'll show you the lovely, the poinsettia Ooh, one. It's like just, that. it's absolutely beautiful. It's a big statement piece and it creates that half the effect. And so that's why we call them the half creator cards because they sit in to your cards half and then half mm -hmm. out. So half in, half out um, and look fabulous. But because, um, the, the way that we've lined, you know, the way that we've designed these it means you can do things like this. Mm. Um, and again, this is an absolutely fabulous one with that poinsettia. Uh, we've got the wreath too, so the wreath is there. That one's a really another lovely one there with that wreath. Um, and like I said, it cuts in but stays connected to the cardstock, uh, really creating some really wow uh, factors each and every single time. And I'll just show you one more after this. I love that one because it's quite. Um, do you know with craft card, it looks mm. really, really effective with a craft card. And then, um, love this. Ooh. I'll get this the right way around. Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. Absolutely stunning. I love that one. Debbie Clough made that. Um, one of our regular uh, viewers here and also one of our fabulous design team members. It is a beautiful piece, that intake. That's and lovely. that's the thing with these dies. You can be creating wonderful wow pieces and what debbie's done with that is just created that it's like a back a back to front gatefold mm -hmm. um i put some acetate on and then paper pieced in the, those poinsettia mm. pieces which look absolutely beautiful and that's what i'm going to start with actually i'm going to start with a poinsettia okay i mean look at the size of it becky it's huge this die yeah. absolutely huge now this is where it sets it apart if i just line that up there just so i can show you um, on this side, you've got the the start of where you want to place it if you were cutting it onto a fold of a card. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is the bit that cuts out because it's got an outside cutting edge all the way around. Yep. And then this is the bit, if you look closely, you'll see there is like the design patterns, but there isn't an outside cutting edge. So that's the bit that stays connected into your card. Okay. So as long as you get that little bit right, you'll be absolutely good to go with any kind of style card. Okay. Which is what I've got here, Becky. I've got... Now, I use this from an A3 piece of cardstock, so it measures at 14 inch by 7, and I've scored it at 7 inches and 10 and a half inches uh, because I'm going to have it as an easel. Okay, nice. But I'm going to line it up where it stays connected in this part but cuts out at this part. So it's just remembering what I said about the outside cutting line. Mm -hmm. So I know that's the outside cutting line. So I know, and you can see your little notches either side. That's where we're gonna line that up onto the edge of our card. So I'm gonna pop okay. some low tack tape down just on there to keep that in place. Let's just pop that on. I'll put one at the top and one at the bottom. 
and then we'll put that onto our die cutting machine uh, die cutting machine now you can see the size look at that it's absolutely mm. massive it's nearly as big as the plate mm. and i'm debating whether to switch to my large plates because um to be think, safe yeah just to be on the safe side because um it would be a little bit that just shows you the size of these dies they're absolutely huge huge dies that really honestly create a lovely um, a very impactful wow wow feature so i'm going to pop that down now it has got some um intricacy to this so i am going to use it as we would do with any of our thin metal die cutting uh, sorry dies and run that through the machine so okay. just place that in now i could have tried to squeeze it on that little plate but it could have been where it was just that little bit too big mm -hmm. that die and it could it it will affect the cut if you squeeze it right to the maximum capacity is that the right word um so it's always worthwhile and that's why i always say you should have two sets of plates yeah you should have your well you get your large ones anyway with your g2 mm -hmm. but you should have a set of small plates for the smaller dies yeah. as well so if i take that off you'll see now let's make sure i've got all of those pieces let's pop that underneath there and then lift take it over that side you can see straight wow. away it looks absolutely uh, fabulous let's find just have the poker tool in my hand a second ago i'll use this one. Oh, it's there oh these poker tools they're wonderful things but oh my god they go everywhere <laughs> the ones that are hide under machines and hide under your craft mat uh, craft glass mat you need one of those um, little silicon holders on uh, the thread is silicon holders that are oh, this tidy. I keep saying I'm going to get yeah. one of those, Becky. They're so brilliant because it doesn't matter how you know, big or small the item is, you put them in there because the silicon holds onto them. Yeah. And they're really good for um, those kind of things. Because you're right, they drop things drop on the floor, you know, when you're crafting up with them on your lap, when you're sitting down, um, they always disappear. That's why you need more than one pokey tool, don't you? Absolutely. Do they still do those then, Becky? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if they, I assume they're. I think they're called a. Maybe desk tidy or an desk, desk organizer, threaders, desk organizer, something like that. Very. And useful. I've seen you with yours. You have yours, don't you? Yeah. When you come here, yeah. I've seen yours. It looks really good. That. Uh, right. I'm just poking out all these pieces. Now there's a couple of things you can do at this stage. You can do a little bit of paper piecing back in, so you can put some acetate behind the back of there, um, or. And I'll just show you. Let me just poke all those last little pieces. Oh, I always want. You always see one. There we go. I think that's all of them out. No, it's not. There we go. Now, I've got it where it creates the heart, because it sits on that half fold. Yeah. And if I just bring something dark underneath it so you can see, Ooh. isn't it effective? It looks yeah. really, really fabulous. And this could be like on the fold of a side, so that could be like on the front part, uh, but it stays connected into there. Now, the only thing that I've done different with this, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll grab a piece of dark cardstock. Let me just grab some black matte card and pop that underneath. And then you can take some tri-blends. So let's see if I've got... Oh, I've missed my red off. Have I missed the red? That's Fair the most important me. colour this time of year. You what, love? Most important colour this time of year. I know it year. is, yeah. I don't know how I've missed plate. There it is. I'll use that one. Um, you can go around this now and colour this in. So if I just show you... I'm going to use, use my brush part for this uh, particular piece. And you can colour... It's is almost that like colouring the true red or something like that? In what, love? Is that true red colour? What colour this is the is red, um, dark red blend right. in the, um, the tri-blends. OK. So, again, I'm just going to follow that all the way around. Do and then have... this is one way that you can do it this way. I'm going to keep to this way because I quite like this. Um, and just take your brush pen and follow that die cut is it easier to do that with a brush pen rather than the yes, normal Yes, yeah. Okay. Brush, um, the brush nib allows you to, f it flows really quite quite easily, as you mm -hmm. can see. And already starting to look quite, um, I think, quite fabulous. Mm. I'm blowing me on trumpet again there, no, aren't I? Blow away. It is fabulous. And then I'm going to leave this because this is the leaf. So those are the leaves up there. And you can see you just follow that, that poinsettia petal around and that's why i always stick a bit of cardstock underneath to pick up that excess and you're not mm -hmm. drawing on your glass mat having to clean your glass mat afterwards i'll just continue to go around that with the petals 
you know, I didn't have, I didn't used to have a gloss mat. I used to work on a, um, a cutting mat, um, a sort of um, self-healing cutting mat. And um, we use the gloss mats so much, don't we? They're yeah. so useful. Uh, I think of all of the items that we sell, I think it's one that we, you, you don't realise how much, how much easier it makes your life having a oh, gloss mat. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it really does. It's, I mean, that's, I talk about this as being a tool. Mm. It's part of your craft room and use it as a tool. I'll put inks down there. You'll see us all use our aquamarkers on there. Um, you'll see us when sometimes. I mean, I tend to put glue on the back of my hand, but mm -hmm. we put, put glue onto your glass mat yeah. and dump your little tiny bits yeah. into there if you haven't got a dotted tape pen. Um, there's all sorts you can do with it, Becky. You're absolutely right. Um, and again, all I'll do is I'm going to take, now because these are a little bit more finer, I'm going to just come in and uh, exactly the same, just use my alcohol markers to go around the outside of those leaves and those petals and change up the colour as well so I'm not being too careful with these in terms of like doing some shading and that I'm just block colouring with this because I think it lends itself to block colour uh, but if you wanted to you could absolutely and if you're uncomfortable with that just turn that that way and then pull that out so that you're not catching the other end now, when you've finished, and I'm going to stop there, Becky, because um, it takes you a little while to go do it, but it doesn't mm -hmm. start to look effective. But when you have finished it and completed it, that's what it will look like. Oh. Um, so I've used a gold blend around the, the yellow gold. Um, sorry, gold yellow. And then I've used just various different greens around the outside and just coloured those in. And it just got, it gives you that real um, wow factor, mm. she says, when she just sees that she's missed a bit of colouring. <laughs> That's the old eyes, that Becky. The old eyes in the craft room light. That's better. Feel a bit better now. Uh, but that's really as easy as that part is. And it does look absolutely incredible. Now, I'm going to bring in, I've got myself a bit of a mat and a layer um, from our, do you remember the gnome collection? At oh, yes. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah. This is that paper pad, one of those plaid what, what, um, in there. Was that a holiday Christmas gnome? It was the Christmas one. You know the Christmas gnomes we did? Yeah. We did a summer version, then we did a Christmas winter version. I did like those um, paper pads. Yeah. It's about using all your stash up, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, not, not to just letting them sit there looking pretty on shelves. It's about using them up. And I sometimes forget that, you know, those pads are there to be used. Mm. So I'm just going to pop that down because that's going to be my base part. Plus I chose that one because of the colours. I thought they matched, which I know looks a little bit lost at the moment. However, we've got a little flopper stopper that's going to stop that from falling over. And then I'm just going to, let me just tip that that way around, take off my foam pads. But you can really create some really like large pieces with these, mm. really um, easy pieces as well to make. So you're not... Um, you know, let me just make sure I've got that the right way around. I always like to put that up and place that first and then line that up. Yeah, we'll go about there. And then I'm just going to add a little bow on the end. Now, I did have a sentiment, but I've got a feeling I've lost my sentiment. And knowing me, I have. Oh, do you know, Becky, I get worse. What, why, what. Why I lost the sentiment that I had for underneath, so I'm oh. just going to put my bow there instead. Yeah, why not? <laughs> because, yeah, it's not with love, Johnny, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that there so you wow. can see. Yeah, I don't know what I've done with my sentiment, but um, I'll probably find it in a second. Uh, but it can be a really, really wow factor straight off. Yeah. Just by simply cutting out and using your alcohol pens to colour. Um, and when I find my sentiment, I will add that onto there. That is gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Really quick and easy. So you too can make um, quick and easy creator cards um, with this set of dies. Um, this first one is your dual tied wreath. And as you can see, they all follow that same format. Um, so they're sort of half a creator card. Um, you've got an, edge, an outer edge to cut one side out and one side into the cardstock. So that is your your tied wreath. This next one is that poinsettia, which looks absolutely beautiful on that demonstration that Debbie just showed us. And then finally, we've got your jubilant bells. Um, they're all together, all three of these, £25 or $29. Platinum price is at £20 or $23.20. Um, Betsy from Houston says, I've just finished addressing 105 Christmas cards. 
Whoa. I started making them in August and I use this poinsettia for some of them. I'm not surprised, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, lots of people messaging in to say hello. Um, I'll go through those in a little bit of time. Actually, Tracy said they'd look amazing with gilding flakes. Yes, I like that gosh. idea. I like that idea. And the next thing I'm going to show you are the Christmas corner dies. These are gorgeous. I'm looking forward to seeing what Debbie's going to be making with these later on. And this first one here is your snow crystals. And so you can see here, each corner is different, um, but this one has got little snowflakes on. This next one here is your entwined holly. Again, very pretty. Each corner is different, um, so you've not got uh, duplicates there. Um, this one here is ring out those bells. This one is one of my favourites, actually. This is the um, Christmas decor um, with the little baubles or ornaments um, hanging down. And then finally, this one is your poinsettia splendor. Um, you can see that flower just down here. All of these, just £14 or $19. Platinum price is £11.20 or $15.20. And they're very intricate kind of dies. I like the idea of being able to cut in and out of those. And actually, some of them you could probably get away with using at any time of the year. Um, maybe if you cut those little... Um, snowflakes off that one you'll be able to use it for different things as well so very usable set that you've got here and um, the next item i'm going to show you are the festive frames wow there's a lot of metal in these a lot of metal in them um, this one is your noel um, you can see how intricate that frame is look at that cut with all of those snowflakes around the outside and then you've also got um, this die to cut out the lettering in the middle and um, this next one is your joy really pretty i think this is going to be able to be used throughout the whole of the year this design here this one here is peace again really really pretty here and then finally xmas um, with the holly um, die all the way around as well 30 pounds or 38 dollars 24 pounds is your platinum price or 30 dollars 40 for all four of those and they look really good um, hannah gosling smith says i don't think i know 105 people when it comes to sending your christmas cards yeah i think i'm i do about 30 30 um, christmas cards and i think that's enough that's enough obviously betty's a lot um more popular than we are hannah that's all i can say <laughs> right debbie and um, what are you going to show us next well i will show you i'm sorry i'm just trying to find me because i'm making you trashing me... the place over there it's all right i've just because i'm sorry i'm trying <laughs> to find me board and i wanted to just because i've just been cutting my cards stock down because i realized i'd misplaced my card base oh I feel it's going to be one of those days. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, make my own card base. I chopped this down to six, um, well, actually, it's five and three quarter inch square. Okay. Um, because these are lovely. And I will show you. I, can I just show you some samples before yes, we move please. on to the demo? Because these are, they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. Look at oh. these. Let me just get that the right way around. So how's that been done? This that has been, been done using the frame and coloured in using. Do you oh. know what I've just done? Pre pretty yeah, much yeah. with the other one, colouring the frame in with alcohol markers, uh -huh. and then sat into the nesting dies. Look at these. Oh. These are all gorgeous. Every single one of them look incredible. They really do. Absolutely incredible boxes. Card making. Christmas card making easy. Right. The reason we've done the show right now is because if you're anything like me. You leave Christmas till the last minute. Mm -hmm. You've been buying all these Christmas products all year round. Or maybe you haven't. Mm -hmm. Well, today's a great opportunity to get hold of some of the most amazing ones that we've done in recent times. Um, but you can make very quick, very easy Christmas cards using these. Yep. So I'm going to go in with the, uh, the Noel. Love a bit of Noel. Um, and I'll show you how these work because they come in three pieces. So let's just take this out so you can see the pieces that come in. So you've got the actual um, Noel die, the sentiment, and then you've got this gorgeous frame. And the reason we've done it this way is to give you, as a crafter, a little bit of flexibility and creativity because if you use that piece on its own, it cuts into the cardstock. Bringing in the outside cutting frame, because that doesn't have an outside cutting edge. It has a lot of decorative features, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have um, an outside cutting edge or an inside one. Right. So that will leave you a nice square shape. And then when you add that together, that'll cut out an actual panel. Mm -hmm. And then you can then pop on another work, you know, another piece that you could cut into um, to create your little sentiment that goes in the middle. 
the thing about Christmas card making is it should be simple, it should be easy, it should be quick. And like for the likes of, did you say it was Betty? Yes. Yeah. So with Betty, the way that she's been crafting, God love her, um, <laughs> whether she's been crafting, you know, for a, a long time, a little time, to make that sort of um, amount, you want to create something with that really wow factor again. Mm -hmm. um, and these dies tick all those boxes. Yep. So I'm going to cut into my cardstock with this and I'm going to centralise it into that centre part of that front panel card. So I'm going to hold it down with some low tack tape. And again, we're going to run this through our die cutting machine. I think I'll use my large plates again. And then just pop that on. It is a lot of intricacy in that one, so you are going to need your magnetic shim. And then run that through. Whew. It's, it's hard work crafting, isn't it? I know, like, oh, yeah. do you know what I've realised? I don't be coffee, like, half an hour before the show. It's like with every coffee that I make, I never get to drink it. No. It goes cold every single time. I need to get a blast, yeah, I need to get a plastic microwave. It's gone cold again. I'm terrible for it. Literally, all the time I do it, I make a coffee or I start a coffee. And it's one of my frothy coffees as well, Becky, which... Oh. You need one of those um, mugs that um, Craig got. The, the, the thermal ones. Well, I think it actually heats up. I think, actually. Oh, yeah, I saw it with that it, the other you day. You plug it into the back of your Gemini machine on the USB port and it heats it up. Really? Mm -hmm. Or Where keeps it warm. Where did you get that from? Oh, that, that place he loves to shop at. Oh, his favourite place his in favorite the world, place, bless yeah. him. I know he loves that place. Yeah. I, I mean, I shop there now and again, but not, not like to the extent of no. that, Craig. No, no. But, um, Leanne, I'm sure he Leanne's said he. Bit, I'm sure he said he bought them for presents for other people. I think he's kept them. Has <laughs> he bought all his presents from QVC? He is. We yeah. call him Mr. QVC, don't mm. we? Mm. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> now, when you take this out, remember there's a lot of intricacy around those frames. So I always put my hand behind the back of the die and just release it, gently tease it out of that, that. You can clean your die up in a second. We can get rid of all those bits, but you just want to release it without tearing anything. So it's all about just that gentle little tease and we'll clean that die in a second and then we'll poke through all of our little pieces out. But isn't it gorgeous, this one with snowflakes? It is Absolutely lovely. Absolutely stunning. Can I ask a question? Yeah, of course you can. Um, Depending on how heavy or what GSM you use on your card, yeah. does that make it harder or easier to take it out of an intricate die? You see what oh. I mean? If you're using a really, really thick cardstock, it's going to be harder to take all those bits out of the die because that was really pulled, really stuck in, wasn't yes. it? Yes, yeah, because this is 300 GSM and it's um, our multi purpose cardstock. It's not got a coating on it. Mm -hmm. You'll find coating cardstock sometimes can be easier to get out. Right. Glitter cardstock, if you were doing in this glitter, you would need to use your mag metal shim yeah um because it's it's very heavily coated that mm -hmm. it's got like a a matte base layer it's got glitter encapsulated in with a plastic over the top and um, so yes when you're doing something heavier uh, it's just about taking your time in teasing it out of the out of its spot and the same with these because it's so intricate don't go at it really heavy mm -hmm. do it gently so you're just teasing your pokey tool to you know to get those out you could run your die cleaning brush over it but the reason i'm not using it is because sometimes the bristles of a die cleaning brush can get caught in your design and right. can rip it and um, so i would as much as i moan about poking and i do poking out the little bits weeding whatever it is that you call it yeah um sometimes with certain dyes it's worth just and you said you'll find it therapeutic don't you? i do There's i find people that do I think it's quite it's quite good fun. However, it's quite good fun doing a few. If I was doing a hundred and five cards, yeah. I don't think I'd find it fun anymore. Which I suppose is why Betty spent a bit of time doing them because well, she's not been doing it since August. August, did you say? Yeah, yeah, she started doing yeah. it. So I, I, you know, then it's not quite so bad, is it? Um, Sheila um, Sheila says uh, you need a mug warmer, Debbie, and plug it into the back of your Gemini. Costs about ah. seven pounds. That's, if anyone is doing Secret Santa for Debbie, that is what she do. <laughs> Are we doing Secret Santa? I don't think we are, no, are we? I, I, did, I didn't are. do it last year. I didn't do the Secret Santa last year. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think... I think we've got, you know... Well, to be honest, none of us have... Well, I'm, I'm here next weekend. That's it. 
Um, you know, I think a you know, lot of us are here, you know, one day in December and then, you know, you're not back yeah. um, for a while. So it's quite difficult. I think it's Jan's last day tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, is it, it really? Yeah, I think it is. She's having a holiday. Wow. Look how gorgeous that looks, Becky. As beautiful just fabulous. as it is. Really, really fabulous it is. It looks stunning. Now, I'm going to cut out the uh, Noel part as well. So we've got, I've got a nice bit of uh, Centauri Pearl for this one. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find the dye though, Becky. You'll have to excuse me a second. Is it hiding? Is it hiding? Oh, it's there. I moved it out of way, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to cut it out in a couple of colours. In fact, I'll do it in the dark one first. Um, let's just take my scissors and chop that down. Be a bit frugal with me uh, cardstock there. And then run that through the die cutting machine as well. So I'll switch to my smaller plates now because I can get away with smaller one. It is still quite intricate though, so I am going to be using the magnetic shim into there. Okay. I used to love watching Noel's Christmas crackers in the morning. On Christmas oh, morning. Yeah. yeah. There'd be some some child that's done you no know, 13 marathons over the last two days and they'd bring him a bike or something like that, wouldn't they? I still really enjoy that show. Like I a bit like, of Noel Edmonds. Yeah, that, that were a good one, that one, weren't it? Have you been watching the new rebooted Neil, Deal or No Deal? I do. And it's such a simple concept, but you really get sucked into it, oh, don't you? Oh, you do, yeah. <laughs> I binge watched that the other day because I forgot it was on until my mum told me. <laughs> I love a bit of Deal or No Deal. Um, that's always quite good. And it's, um, it's uh, Stephen Moorhead, isn't it? It is, yeah. He's in my phone. Pardon? I'm just going to say, I've got his phone number over there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, rewind. Hiya. Hiya. Rewind. Yeah. Did you just say he's in your phone? He's in my phone, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Are you Does friends with Stephen Mulhorn? <laughs> Mulhorn? 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 Oh, Stephen, can't say so. Stephen Mulhorn, yeah. Are you friends with him? No, not really. Have not, you got his number? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, no. Becky, Becky, Becky wait again. a minute. I think right, we need lived. to rewind this, Johnny, because oh. first of all, she told us about... <laughs> Ant and Deck this morning. <laughs> now we're talking Stephen Mulhern. Mul Mul yeah. Mulhern. Um, Becky, mm. can I ask? You don't really stalk them, do you? No, I don't. Are they just in your area? Them. Do they live in your area? They live in my area. He lives in a block of flats we manage. I was dealing with him <laughs> over um, a problem that was happening in the flats. So I happened to have his phone number. I don't call him. Stephen, if you're watching and you get weird phone calls, they're not from me. I'm just saying they're not from me. Um, but I do like the fact that I've got him on my phone because it feels a lot better. You know, sometimes I stop people in the street and say, who's the most famous person you've got in your phone? Um, and obviously, Sarah. We've Sarah. got Sarah's number. Um, I've got Stephen Mulhern's number. And who else's number? I've got, I've got Moira Stewart's number. Pardon? Yeah. The newsreader? Why have you yeah. got her number? Lived in a block of flats that we managed. Oh. Yeah. And again, I had to speak to her about something. <laughs> um, you yes. say a block, I know, I'm just going to say the same, Johnny. You say a block of flats. Do you know what I've got? A, I mean, it's got to be some nice, nice flats. They're round, round by the river. They're, they're yeah, quite, they're quite say, nice. I'll yeah, I'll call that an apartment yeah, then, yeah. Becky, because a flat in my head is like they're in, in a, nice apartments. Yeah, <laughs> but that's you know, I, I don't stop them. But yeah, I. No. <laughs> but um, who's the most famous person you've got in your your phone, Debbie? It's definitely Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Bucks Fizz? No, 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 no. Uh, definitely Sarah. I think Sarah, I would say, is the, 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 the most, the most one. Actually, do you know what? I've not even really looked for my phone in a long time. I couldn't tell you. No. Yeah, definitely Sarah, well, though. Do you know, sometimes you look through your phone and you think, who on earth are those people that I've got in there? Because sometimes I've got people like just say Jane. I think, who now that? I've got about 15 different people on the same name. So, no, that really let you laugh. Yeah, Jane me. McDonald's. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I said that. I've got like, so, so I saw Craig ringing me the day and I thought it was Craig Craig, the hottie Scotty. Yeah. It turns out it was my cousin. I'd forgot I'd got him in oh. there. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. Now, I'm going to do a little drop shadow with this. I'm just going to move this to uh, the right-hand side and drop it down just a little, little tiny bit to make that pop. And if I just show you on there, it gives it this really nice little pop. However, I also want to make the back of this pop. So I have got um, some gorgeous backing paper. Um, I've actually, I think I'm going to use the... Um, 
B side because I think if I have a pattern it'll distract yeah. a little bit from there um, so let me grab my um, glue and we'll That's do all nice. the mats and layers where's this. that from that paper do you know oh I knew you were going to ask me that yeah I've not seen that one before oh do you know this is do you know we had last year we had the winter's solstice solstice one yeah winter's yeah. tail I think it's from one of those I'll be totally honest, I've not wrote this one down, so okay. um, normally I write them down and be able to tell if you. If anyone recognises it, let us know. Yeah. Um, uh, who's on the socials today? It is Susie. Susie, Susie, Susie might recognise it, yeah. Um, Carol G messaged in and said her niece was on Deal or No Deal last week. Was she? Yeah, and she won some money. She oh, had a great time. Was it? Because I've just watched all of those. What was it? What was her niece's name? Oh, we'll have to find out. Carol, let us know what your niece's name was and congratulations to her. Because um, so I watched it last week. Um, there was quite a few that didn't. I mean, the one that broke my heart was the young man who's got... Um, oh, I can never remember the name. It's the one that the character in Coronation Street is... Yeah, that's the one. Um, oh, it broke my heart because he wanted to win some money to... Because it is... Oh, is it... What's, the, what's the, uh, the condition that Stephen Hawkins had? Um, was that... M M M N D? No, he didn't have M MS. Multi neuron disease. Multi neuron disease. disease yeah. yeah, that was the young man. Um, I think it was called. Was he called Dale or Dean or? Oh, it Deal. was the last one on last week. It was the last one on Friday. Last. What day are we on? We're, oh, we're, so, we're Sunday. Sunday. All right. It was Fridays, um, and he didn't win anything, and it broke my heart. Oh. Yeah, it didn't deal at the twelve thousand pound mark. But there's a GoFundMe page for him. Mm. And he's already at twenty five thousand. Oh, so it almost, it, you know, it just restores your faith doesn't yeah. it, in uh, human nature because um, I think that's just just absolutely fabulous. Uh, now I've got here. Uh, can you see that I've popped my background paper in because uh, I think that looks absolutely fabulous. Now I did cut myself a little frame. Oh, I always see little pieces that I think I've poked out and then find them. Yeah, swore. don't don't blame you blame me for that last time. You went um, love. You play oh, that me. <laughs> um, Susie says is the page from Winter's Tale. Thank you. Yeah, I thought it was. Fantastic. I thought it was. So I'm going to pop in now. I want to pop in a little centerpiece, uh, but I've realised I've just chopped this down just a tad too too big. So I've got myself a frame. I'm going to put the frame around there like yeah. that. Um, let's just pop on though. Um, I think I'll use yeah, I'll use my dotty one. Do you think you'd be any good at deal or no deal? I'd love to do it. It's one of those get when it finished with no lead I'm quite gutted actually because it's one that I watched all the time. Mm. It's one of my favourite game shows. Mm, um, and I've wanted to go on there. Um, but I think I'd be I think I'd be really nervous. Why? Money. It's it's end of day, it's real money, isn't it? When, oh, yes, when the true. banker offers yeah. you money, it's real money and it's money like like can change your life. Yeah. Uh, depending on the office. Although I have noticed that um, it used to be a quarter million pounds, didn't it? Two hundred and fifty thousand mm. pounds. I have to open this up, Becky, because I'm struggling to see it laid down. Um, it used to be two hundred and fifty thousand. Now it's up to a hundred. I mean, I won't sniff at hundred hundred thousand pounds. No. That is a life changing amount of money. Mm -hmm. It really, really is. Um, I'm just going to cut this down because I've. Grand deal, have you, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this down to two and three quarters. So where's my paper trimmer gone? Um, apparently, her name was Alicia on Deal or No oh, Deal. yeah. Was she the girl with blonde hair? Long blonde hair? That was the only one I saw last week. So there was, there was the I'll lovely... Um, that was the... I call her the kooky one, but she was really lovely. She was the one that gave everybody little stars, weren't she? I can't remember her name. It's not that'll not be a niece. Um, I think that was that young girl, wasn't it? That lovely young girl with a partner in the audience. Uh, please do let us know because mm. um, there were some lovely. Oh, well, they're, they're all. They've all been lovely up to now, haven't they? They've all been yeah. smashing. There we go. I'm just going to pop that into that centre. Um, Lynn Blackledge says, a friend of mine from the Isle of Wight won quite a lot of money on Deal or No Deal many years ago and bought an ice cream van and is now well known around the island for ice cream selling. Oh wow! Mm. That's, that's lovely, yeah. isn't it, when you hear things like that? Yeah. That really is lovely. Uh, right, the next thing I'm going to do... Oh, I did want to save some of my... Oh, it's fine. Did I stop? It's all right. It's just, you know, when you start thinking, where have I, what have I done with my pieces of paper? I was going to put a little piece of this paper on there, but I forgot. So I'll tell you what I'm just going to do. I don't think it's good. 
that's the reason why I did a little bit mm. of a drop shadow so but it's fine I think yep. it looks all equally just as nice like that and then I'm just going to add my ribbon onto there um, grab my dotty tape pen again how do you go about applying for things like deal or no deal though? go to their website so yeah. is that what you do you go yeah. to the website I've always wanted to do family fortunes really um, yeah but not with my family not with your family. Somebody else's family. You want, a, you want a different family? Yeah. Um, no, I'd have my, my son, my daughter, and my daughter's boyfriend, but I wouldn't have my husband. <laughs> because I'm really sorry. And if you're watching Tim, I really apologise. He's rubbish at games. Is I he? mean, just rubbish. I mean, every time we play Uno, we have to explain the rules again. Even like playing blackjack, he was like, what are the rules here? It couldn't be easier to his 21. Um, so yeah, um, I, think, I think it would be um, my son, my daughter, and my daughter's boyfriend. Maybe he can have five on there, I don't remember. Um, I, I think it's five, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think it's five. Uh, look again. Something really simple, but mm. looks really striking. Um, you've got that lovely intricate detail that cuts into your cardstock. Um, and of course, you've got that frame. So it could be either way. It could be a panel or it could be just cut into your cardstock. Uh, but either way, a really, really beautiful card. Um, Christmas card making, easy. When you're making as many as Betty's yeah. been making, you definitely want something uh, that creates a wow factor. And these are fabulous dies. The price as well for mm. them. Because there's four different die sets there. What does that make them a die set? I've Six, 12, 18, 20, Six pounds each. Six pounds each. Well, there's a lot there. That's a lot. Of, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of metal for your money. So I think mm. that's a cracking, cracking Christmas deal. And even if you've done your Christmas making for this year, this Christmas comes around every year. So that's and it. they're very traditional uh, sentiment. <laughs> You've got them devils in you today. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, they really do. It comes around every single year. So this yeah. is a lovely set that doesn't date either. It's not a dated yeah. set. Uh, so absolutely fabulous. Love those as well. Fantastic. So just recap what you're going to get in here in this bundle. You've got an Xmas one with those um, pieces of um, holly. This next one is peace. So I suppose all of these follow um, all sorts of different faiths. You know, if you just want to send a holiday card, these are going to work for you. This is joy. And then finally, Noel. Um, £30 or $38. The platinum price is £24 or $30.40. Um, Sheila said, where would you write your message on that card? Would you write it on the back? On this one, yeah. yeah. Or you, you could on the inside. Um, if you wanted to put a little piece in the inside, you could put a little piece in there. Mm -hmm. um, or write it on the back. Yeah. 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 yeah, fantastic. Um, do remember, if you've got any questions, please message them in and let, it, um, let us know. Debbie is here um, all day, so she'll be able to answer all of your questions. We were going to give you the opportunity to check out your baskets, and we will see you in a couple of moments. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website, our new home of Papercraft to house all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to show you how to check out Crafters TV on our sparkling new website including how to watch live, catch up with previous shows, and how to view the latest schedules. So, let's get started. First, go to the Crafters Companion homepage. Select the correct location at the top of the page. Click the Crafters TV icon on the top right-hand side of your screen. To watch the show live on the website, click the Watch Now button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the relevant show page where you can watch the show, shop the show and shop the day at your leisure. To view the Crafters TV schedule, click the View Our Schedule button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the TV schedule where you can browse each date plus all of the shows that are on that day. You can then click on each show to be taken to a page where you can watch and shop the show. If you want to catch up on a previous show, hit the catch up button on the purple Crafters TV bar. Then you can scroll down to see all of the previous Crafters TV shows from recent days. If you're looking for something specific, you can click the craft expert, craft area, shows and date filters just above the list of shows. Take a moment to browse until you see the show you want to catch up on, then click onto the show. 
You'll then be taken to the catch up page where you're free to watch the show and check out all of the crafty goodies on our Shop the Show and Shop the Day pages. Enjoy. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's show is a masterclass all about Christmas crafting. And did you know it is National, Cra National Gift Day, Make a Gift Day. Um, so I was thinking, what was the best gift you received? Best handmade gift. Um, was the best gift you ever got were those um, little peppermint creams that they used to make on Blue Peter out of fondant icing and peppermint essence. Do you remember those? Oh, they, were, yeah. they were foul, but I'd give them to my, um, my great aunt every year and she'd be, oh, these are lovely. Put one in her mouth and I never saw them again. And I'm sure she probably spat them out when I walked out of the room. But is there a gift that you always give that's something that's handmade? Or perhaps you received a fantastic handmade gift that you never forgot about? Um, let us know. Um, give us, inspire us. Let us know um, the type of things that perhaps we should be making. Obviously, we're all on here. We probably all make cards. But perhaps there's something else we could turn our talents to. Um, now, if you missed the earlier show, we did do a spin of the spinny wheel of craftness. This is a 12 days of craftness um, spinny wheel. Um, I span it earlier on today and it landed on a free gift. Um, it isn't a free gift if you're choosing, I'm afraid. Um, but if you spend more than £10 or $10, you will receive this stamp and die set. It is your Love and Kisses stamp and die set. Um, so you get that for nothing provided you spend more than £10 or $10. Now, this uh, free gift is only valid up until 11.59 this evening. Um, then it will reset, that's UK time. Um, and then tomorrow, Ben will spinny the wheel and um, who knows what you might get. Very exciting. I like this. It's like, um, well, I always wanted to be on a game show. I'd like to do Wheel of Fortune. That'd be quite good. Is that still on in the UK? I don't know. Didn't um, uh, Dean, who worked at um, the other channel, he did, oh, was it Going for Gold? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. I, don't, I remember the theme tune, but I don't really remember what that show was about. Um, going for Gold, quite clearly. Um, I don't know. It was no. one, but I actually watched that one. It's going for going for gold, something like that. Did um, Henry Kelly first do that one? Yes, he did. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was That was a name I kept thinking about him in my mind. Um, lots of people loving the card that you made over there, Debbie. Um, but one of the questions I had was from Lois, wanting to know the size of the very first card that you made. What very was the first size card, for that? right. So I think I took this from, I think I said I took this from an A3 piece of card stock. You did. I did, yeah. And I measured it 7 inches by 14, scored it at... Seven, the seven inch mark for the perfect seven by seven base yep. and three and a half. Right. So it's like, the, it creates that base. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so it's it's actually if you look at it that way, it's seven by seven. Mm -hmm. But you put that extra fold in at three mm -hmm. and a half to create that um, easel. Uh, so that's where, and I took it from an, an A3 piece cardstock. You could do it in A4 and just cut a seven by seven base and then an eight by seven, put a score line in at one mm -hmm. and still one at three and a half to get that half fold. Okay. So you could make it from an A4, A4 if you wanted to. Yeah. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Um, lots of people saying they, uh, hello, um, Elizabeth says good morning from uh, Suffolk, Virginia. Um, Joy Masters is here saying hello from Utah. Um, it's currently zero degrees and I saw that we not only have Shadia in here, but we've also got Gilmore who I have not seen uh, messaging in for some time so hello to everybody who is here um, it's good to, good to see you virtually um, so the Christmas corner dies and um, you're going to do a little demo of these in a moment but I'm just going to run through them quickly again because these are really beautiful and selection of dies this first one is your snow crystals then we go to your entwined holly this one is your ring out the bells this one here is a Christmas decor and then finally, we've got Poinsettia Splendor. £14 or $19 for all of those. £11.20 or $15.20. That's great value. And these are really usable, aren't they, these dies? They are. And I, I class these as like... Um, they can be a focal part to any card or gift box or bag or whatever it is that you want to make or scrapbook pages. Um, but for me, it's that it's about embellishments. Um, and when you take a look at what our guys have done on the design team, you can actually see that they've used them. So they've used a lovely sentiment uh, stamp, but then used the corner pieces to create these really lovely effects. That one's so simple to do, a little inky background, mm. and then take either one of those corners and pop them in either end. This one's fabulous i love this look at that isn't that clever oh it yeah looks like a little handbag and then it's like oh actually a little gift bag um, in as well so that looks absolutely fabulous i love that one um again look at that on a little feature you've got some gorgeous papers in your collection and what um uh, Sean's done on this is she's used a circular nesting die and then picked up that picture and then framed around the edge with those thing uh, with those dies those nice. color dies and then that, I love this one, um, on the box, just looks incredible. And what I love about what we've done with these, Becky, as well, is that is we haven't, we haven't given you two same di identical dies. We've mm -hmm. given you two different ones. So you've got the, again, that creativity to use. You could use just one of them all the way around all mm -hmm. your makes. Or you could... In 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 to change? Thank you. Um, Yes, that word, and put them together. Uh, uh, there's so many things you can do with them. I am going to make a little, it's going to be a feature card. It's going to be another easel card, actually. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make a feature in all the corners um, across the whole card. Um, so with that in mind, I've just taken some multi-purpose cardstock. You can use any, any cardstock to create these. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to cut a couple out. Now, I have cut multiples out. Um, glitter cardstock, this will work with your glitter card. Uh, sorry, you, where you put your glitter onto them as well. Um, to be fair, any you want. Now I've chosen because I am a little bit of a, I have a little love affair with the snow crystals. I love them because of that snowflake. Yep. I really do like those. Um, so I'm just going to hold them down with a little bit of low tack tape. And can, have we created these so you could use them in any, any type of corner? You know, sometimes, oh, yeah. I suppose yeah. the only one you can't do is an ornament one with the baubles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that probably a good good description of that one, yeah. Or the ornaments. <coughs> um, but yeah, you, you can feature them in all corners, one corner, um, <clears throat> just a little area. You, I mean, I did a scrapbook page with these because I think, I, if I remember rightly, I launched these mm -hmm. with, I think it was, I want to say Ben. But uh, I definitely launched them because I remember using them and having a time in my life with them because they're really, I, I, I think these are a very useful die that you will use time and time again, especially in your Christmas makes because mm. they're all Christmas themed and um, they look fabulous when they're all um, out. And no matter what cardstock you put these into, no matter what design you choose, um, they're all absolutely beautiful. <coughs> So I'm just going to cut that out and pop that just on there for a second. In fact, where's my little piece of black card again? Because I always like to pop a bit of black underneath so you can see how fabulous oh, it looks. That's stunning. It's Honestly, the intricacy 
of them is literally to think of a little die having that much intricacy in them mm. is just beautiful and this is when you can play around with them in either corner um, whether it be a landscape or a portrait way mm -hmm. um, and then both of them two different designs um, so just pop these through and then just lift that off and again because it's so intricate don't be tempted to rip it out of the die uh, gently tease it out of the die and again I am using the multi-purpose cardstock at this stage mm -hmm. um, so please please do take your time when you're taking them out if you're going to cut it into glitter cardstock again use your metal shim um, because it is it'll make for a nice easier cut and it also release them very well as well so two beautiful corner pieces there and I've just done multiples I love it I'm not gonna lie look at that it's oh, just gorgeous, nice, isn't it? it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Now, I've gone um, round the line of a crystal overlay pen with these. Ooh. Give it a little shake rather than... You can use your, you know, your sprays, you could yeah. spray them as well. Um, but I'm just going to take a little dusting of the crystal clear overlay pen to give it a hint of a shimmer. Could you heat emboss these? Yes, yeah. Stick them into your inks and then... You know, your pigment inks and then yeah. use your clear embossing powder. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great shout out there. Have you got these ones, Becky? No. I think you need to get these. Oh, honestly, Debbie, I, every time I come into work, I, I spend more money than <laughs> no, I really should, <laughs> to be honest. Right, I'm just going to leave those there for a second because, as you can see, I went a little bit nuts. Um, <laughs> I do it all the time. Um, I never know when to stop. But you know <laughs> what? To be fair, um, I never know what I'm going to put them on, what I'm going to make them yeah. on. So I'll multiple cut them and they're all ready to go. And I could, if I don't use all of them, I've got some left over to mm -hmm. use um, in my other Christmas makes. So I have created a card base. Now I've created another easel card, but I've already stuck this together. So I'll show you how I did this. Uh, so this actually measured, when it started life, it measured at 11 and a half inches by six. Mm -hmm. And I scored it at, because uh, it's, actually, it's actually a full length piece of A4. Uh, just chop that down to six inches and then did it at the halfway mark. So if you're okay. doing it on a scoreboard, like the score master, I've put it away, sorry, I've put it away. Uh, the six inches, it's the one notch before it. If you're using an Ultimate Pro, it's on your half fold A4 uh, and that creates that lovely half fold. I actually popped another score line down the centre of this. So it's the one before three, pop that in and then cut yourself another base at five and three quarter inch square and okay. stuck that to there. So it's created my easel um, so that was an easy way of creating an easel card uh, chosen some uh, papers again popped it onto some of that lovely uh, silver you can see that in the background for a little bit of matting and layering because I'm going to put one on the front and one on the inside so I get my all-purpose glue out there we go and then pop that into that corner and then I'm just going to do the same with this one. And then we'll start to place all our Christmas corner die, uh, dies, our die cuts, into each corner. So pop that just into there and line that all up. There we go. Um, and then choose where we're going to stick them. So I've got this one first, so I'll take this one off. Let me uh, just peel that back. And let's pop that in that corner. And then the same with the others. So we'll we'll do a little bit of a little bit of a, a sim is it symmetrical they call it? Yeah. Symmetrical, is that how you say it? It looks to me how I imagine if you were on a plane looking out um over Christmas Eve, that's how I imagine it looks. Uh -huh. Any pilots watching, is that what it looks like? Any cabin crew? Um I don't know. I've never travelled on Christmas Eve. I was gonna say to you, because my cousin he goes away every Christmas. Mm. Um, and stays there till the new year. Um, he's done it every year for as long as I can remember. Um, so yes, do you have you ever been away at Christmas? No, never, never interested. Um, so Christmas, so my my sister passed away on um, uh, Boxing Day. Oh. So for me, it's really important to be around the whole of the family um, at Christmas. And I couldn't imagine being anywhere else apart from at home. Yeah. Um, so no, I, I and I, I get it. I get going away for Christmas, but for me, I love it. It's um, one of those things that I really like to be at home. 
I think it's one of those things. Um, Zoe Carver says, I'm in the middle of a card right now using those snowflake corners. They really are looking beautiful. And as I say, it really does remind me of looking out of the window um, Christmas Eve and seeing all those little sparkles um, that you get in the snow corners. It looks lovely. Really enjoying this set of corner dies. They are absolutely stunning. Um, if you've just joined us, um, we're all about Christmas makes. It's all very festive here. You can't <laughs> see, because I don't think we've got a camera facing where all the, um, all the sofas are, but it is very festive in that little corner. Um, and that's where we keep resting in between shows because it is so festive. Um, so at the moment, we're looking at the Christmas corner die collection that we've got here. And Debbie is making something absolutely beautiful with those snowflakes. But it's because the, the snowflake, the, I mean, all of these dies mm. would work on this one, Becky. So I've put my first part on the front so you can see that I've got that onto the front. It looks really lovely. Lovely. And then we're just going to repeat that on the inside of the inside part of the card as well. So just stick that down. And then I'm going to come back in and use one of these. Like I said, if you cut loads of these and put them onto your, you know, your Zyrons or just have them in a little box somewhere mm. so they're ready to go because um, I use my Zyron a lot when I'm at home um, and that's why I've got that. Now I could continue to put them in there, but because I'm going to be having like um, a stopper from stopping that. Um, right. Yeah, so yes, waste. It's, it's no. a waste. Yeah. So I'm not going to put them on there. Um, I've got myself, I uh, hope your Christmas is snow much fun. Um, vintage snowman, right, uh, for this one. Uh, that's where that's from. And then that's going to act as my stopper. Just like so. I'm going to actually pop in the centre, though. I've cut myself a little, this is a very small square at two and a half. Um, inch square mm -hmm. and then just a little mat and layer in between with that matching paper and I've popped some foam pads back and a, a couple of little gems got to have a little gem or two on my card um, and then I'm going to finish that off with a little snowflake because I've got lots of snowflakes in my collection as you probably have as well yeah um, and I'm going to just add that into and Ooh. they say no snowflake no, no two snowflakes are the same but even with the amount of dyes snowflake dyes I've got none of them are the same no Exactly. Um, and I'm just going to put a little snowflake into oh, that I corner like that. with a little gem. Um, so let me just... There we go. And it's a little bit... I'm going to say it as it is. It's minimal effort for that maximum impact when you look at these. Just pulled a bit of my snowflake off there. Don't do a, don't do a Debbie. Um, be, like I said, be careful with them. And that's because I'm a little bit heavy-handed with my snowflake. But I'll get away with that one and just pop that there. And um, there you go, literally creating, again, another like very impactful card, again, and with those dies. Let them dies do the talking. Um, and then just use your sentiments to, um, to add into there to your Christmas makes. Um, make them really nice, simple, really easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, and treat these as they are. They're a lovely embellishment corner die that will fit on any project, whether you do card making, bag making, scrapbooking, whatever it is that you want to attach these to. Um, absolutely fabulous. And I've still got some spare left over. Excellent. That's <laughs> always good. They, uh, that looks beautiful. I really like that. Um, Gilmore says, I love how delicate those snowflake dies are. I really must get them in your cart and um, you do want to get them in your cart these are your Christmas corner dies and um, this first one is your snow crystals which is the one you've just seen Debbie using um, and it is really beautiful but all of them will work beautifully with your cards this is your entwined holly this next one is your ring out the bells this is your Christmas decor and then we have um, poinsettia splendor 14 pounds or 19 dollars platinum is 11 pounds 20 or 15 dollars 20. um more items oh everyone's saying how fabulous fabulous a card beautiful card simple and clean um everyone's loving it um the next thing i'm going to show you are a creator card abstract and um, stamp and die, stamp and die duo Ooh, that's difficult to say and um, this one with a cross with all those kind of festive um shapes in there you've got sort of pine holly um sort of berries in here and also um some stamps uh, sentiments there that's your first one and this is your second one which is your festive angel and um, once again you've got all of those kind of um stars um you've got berries, um, the fir, fir tree, that sort of thing in this little cutout here. Um, beautiful, I've not seen these before, with those um, dyes. What? I know. What? I 
And they're all, do you know what I'm going to do? Because I haven't got a demo pre prepped with them, but I'm going to grab one out and show you oh, how I'm easy I'm not surprised. Is. Five pounds or yeah. seven dollars. Platinum, four pounds for both of those or five dollars sixty. That's got to be a no-brainer, surely. Look at those two. I mean, you couldn't choose between them and you don't have to because you can have both of them for just two quid each, basically. That is incredible value. Well, I like that. Like that, definitely. And next thing we're going to have a look at the gift card holders. Now, I think as the children get older, that is a thing that you want to give them, or cash. Um, but how nice to give them in, to, into something rather than just an envelope. Um, these are um, dies and stamps and stencils in order to make your own gift card holder. This first one is your festive gift. Obviously, any time of year, you know, use this for birthdays, weddings, and um, that whole kind of um, present shape is ideal. This next one, a little bit more Christmassy. Um, you've got your Christmas stocking. Now, I love the fact that we've given you all of the extra bits and pieces um, to create um, the, 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 the proper picture, effectively, out of this little um, set of dies. You've got presents in here. Um, you've got um, joy in a nice script die. Um, lots and lots of um, stamps in here as well, making it really good value. This next one is, that's gorgeous, festive snowman. Oh my goodness, he's lovely. And the idea is, well, it's worked for you. You just put your gift card in there and pop it up. That's so cool. I really like that. And of course, it wouldn't be Christmas without Santa. Um, there you go. Now, I think this is brilliant. All of these different um, dies you're getting in here, um, your stamps, and also that little template in here. <laughs> Incredible value yet yeah, again. £15 or $19. The platinum price is £12 or $15.20. And Debbie, you've got some finished samples for us over there, yeah, haven't you? Um, they are really, do you know, we've said this many a time when we've seen these and showed these and showcased them on shows. Um, they're fabulous. You can take them into your card making, you can add any thin into them in terms of your uh, gift cards because the most ca gift cards across the world are all the same size um, so all of that has been designed to work with any gift cards but then you can have a lot of fun with it so this is a lovely bottle what you pop on the bottle top oh yeah um, but it's still the gift card element to it so you can pop a little gift card into there or a little message love santa all of these are used in card making because i think sometimes it's nice to gift and do your card I'm going to have to point out this one. I love this one. <laughs> Every time I look at it. I was like, when I first saw it, I thought, what's happened to it, card? Someone's, I thought somebody had literally <laughs> just chucked them all on. And then I realised it would <laughs> where they all melted. I just think it's such a good, fun card. I love this one, the Christmas present in there, because I don't see Christmas. No. I see, I don't see Christmas, but I also see beyond Christmas with yep. this one, uh, which is why I absolutely love that. And again, you can pop all of your, your gift cards in. They're very easy to put together. Um, but for that price, for that price, that is a really good one. And um, very, like I said, incredibly easy to put together uh, and use. And I just think that, at that seriously, at that price, you, it's, well, it's one of those that, even like I said, if you've made all of your Christmas makes for this yep. year, doesn't matter because those will come into effect every single year when it comes to Christmas and they look fabulous when you take it into gift, gift cards mm -hmm. or into your card making as well. Yeah. I mean, like you say, even just that one that's like the present, you can use that throughout the whole of the year um, for birthdays and all sorts of other things. It's well worth it. Um, Pat says she loves the cross and the angels. Again, an amazing deal for that, just £2 per, um, per die, um, the buy set you're getting there. And Gilmore says the reindeer on Becky's jumper is looking down on the Christmas corner dies um, that I'm showing off. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a nosy and sleepy um, reindeer that I've got on my jumper. <laughs> right, abstract. Um, you've got some samples of the abstract. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I thought I would. I thought it was me getting carried oh, away. Sorry. I pulled out all the whole. <laughs> oh, holy night. Um, do you want me to show you some samples with the abstract? Yeah. And then I'll, I'll, I'll honestly, so super easy uh, to put together. Um, because there's not, you know, they, they do all the talking, that beautiful design. Mm. That's a lovely inky background one. This one, nice That's little easel card. Yeah. I love this. I think it's quite symbolic for Christmas. Mm. Uh, and I do like that. Again, look at that where it's been paper pieced. Oh my days, that. Oh, that's lovely. I love black and gold together, but that looks, 
incredible this one again really simple but looks really effective and just adding underneath a little bit of mirror card mm -hmm. makes that lovely angel pop um the same with this one use your nesting dies in there um that looks incredible in craft card love that with a bit of gold behind the back um this look at this just love oh, that. that's nice that is beautiful do you know i have a feeling i made that one myself i've got a feeling i made that you know, you look at cards sometimes yeah. you think, did I do that one? <laughs> uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love this one. Can I just show you uh, the reason I've done this one? Just show you the back. Because she's cut into it at the back oh, as well. Nice. So the back looks just as beautiful as the front. Uh, really, really clever. But when you are doing an easel card, because you're cutting into it, you don't want the underside to be um, solid because it'll affect the bottom part to this. So that's why yeah. she's placed it and designed it so it looks absolutely, I mean, I love that. And yeah. craft card looks really, really simple. Um, so I'll just show you, I'll just grab a piece of cardstock. Mm -hmm. um, all of these, cut these two die, I say all of these dies, look at the price. For both? <laughs> yeah. Not for one? No, no. How do you know? I can't believe... I, just, I, I can't get my head around that because no. that means then that these are £2 a set. Yeah, they're normally well, £10 each. And there's stamps in there as well. Yeah. The stamps, I mean, they are lovely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that one just to cut in. doesn't have an outside die cut, so that means it just cuts directly into your cardstock. There's not going to be <coughs> many of Christmas. these left. I mean, At that look. price, they're going to fly, aren't they? Because won't, well, they've got wings. They've got what? They've got wings. <laughs> They're going to fly. <laughs> Shall we do it in a bit of black card? Let's cut it out into some black cardstock. Do apologise. My nose is running like mad over here. <laughs> no, you start like this blooming colds, and it, I hate I hate this time of year for the colds, the flus, the yeah. aches, the pains, the the runny noses, the coughs. It's just constant, isn't it? It is absolutely constant. Just cleared one, and now I've got another. I mean, marvellous. <laughs> Right, let's cut this down to four. It, in fact, let me just check the size of this die. Yeah, I'll cut it to about five. Let's go to five inches. At that price, though, it's just so you can see how easy they are to, uh, to use. In fact, shall we do seven, five by seven? Bit smaller. Let's go to five by six. There we go. <coughs> uh, Stacey, Crofty Stacey Lou says, I've had, I have these. Have you used them? Um, Crafty Stacey Lou. Um, and lots of people saying what beautiful sample cards. The design team really do make some incredible they do. Um, samples, don't they? They do, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this at that price, this is something I wouldn't even think about. Mm. I'd be sticking that in my basket and running to check out because mm -hmm. it's like two sets of dies and stamps because each one of them has got their own stamp set. Mm -hmm. Oh, Holy Night, Silent Night and Joy to the World on this particular one. Um, the cross... Uh, again, you're, I've got peace and joy, Merry Christmas and rejoice. Mm. So a really lovely one. <coughs> but these just cut directly into cardstock. And let's run that through. Uh, because there is, again, that intricacy, uh, use your magnetic shim. Yep. Don't try and do this without, because um, there's lots of intricate detail in each one of them. And little bits in there that you could, especially if you paper piece him, mm -hmm you would use them in a different colour and paper piece back, um, all of those back in there. If you've got the patience for paper piecing, yes. I like to cheat with these and stick a bit of cardstock behind the back of them. That's what I would be doing with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's just poke out. Ben McCarthy is in saying oh. good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Ben. When are you going to send some biscuits in? Michelle didn't bring, didn't bring any last week. Oh, I thought I missed biscuits. out. Biscuits? Have they been? Have they been, have they been bringing no, biscuits? No, no. Ben, oh my goodness, I've been missing. This is because we're like passing ships at night, me and Michelle. Oh, I know. I keep missing out on Ben's goodies. He, he, did, he did the most. Uh, he did the most amazing chocolate chip cookies the other week. They were really nice. Chocolate chip um, what? Chocolate chip cookies. Oh my god, they were delicious. And his brownie cookies, brookies, whatever they're called. They're quite nice as well. Well, not quite nice. They're really nice. They're one of those things that you think, oh my goodness, I could eat the whole container if only there weren't other people here watching and judging me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> now, already with that background, that looks just fabulous. Yeah. But I have got some coloured backgrounds, Becky, rather than me working one. Mm -hmm. I've got some in my bag from yesterday. Oh. So, let me grab 
Where have I put it? Here you can go. have a rummage. I'm having a rummage. I'm always making backgrounds, though, literally. And I've got some nice ones here. And I think some of these, look, I just carry them around. Don't ask me why, but I just carry them around with me. That's good to have, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. It's really handy to have. I'm just thinking, I wonder if that colour... Ooh, that's a nice one, mm -hmm. isn't it? With pink. Like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Although I have got some... I, I love making backgrounds. This is just a few that I carry around with me because you never know when you might need them. Um, but actually, these are made from Duet ink pads um, because I know we've got the Duet ink pads on later. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little look. Let's um, pop a few behind. Tell me when you think, Becky. Mm, um, still like the first one. Did you still like the first one? Yeah, Shall like we go with that one, one then? Yeah. Let's go with that one. I like so, that. Sort of that's me effect. just wiping up a little bit of ink off my mat wow. to create that, I know. Yeah. So I'm going to pop my dotty tape pen around the back and we'll have a little rummage. I love doing a little bit of crafting on the hoof. Well, I think that just goes to show, because we always say, you know, scoop up your, your ink on a bit of card. We always say that and then wipe it off with a, with a you know, a cloth. Um, but that really shows you, if you do what, you know, practice what you preach, you have all those backgrounds ready to make something like this. Absolutely, absolutely. I do like that one. It's ni nice choice, Becky. Nice That's choice. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to try, try. I might trim a little bit off. So let me grab my, let me grab a little guillotine, and I'm I'm going to make a quick card, like a bit of crafting on the hoof. Yeah. Why not? Why not? To be fair, I didn't think at that price. I didn't even think these would still be around because that is insanely good. Mm. Um, lowest price four pound two. I mean, I'd pay that for one. Yeah. Let alone two. Well, that Ros is incredible. Roslyn says, um, I thought I was done shopping for the year, but I'm a sucker for a credit card. Um, I think that that's very true because if you're um, stuck for something or you need something quickly, a credit card is perfect, isn't it? Because Absolutely. All of that hard work is done for you. Now, I'm just going to find, I've got plenty of coloured papers at the back of here as well, so I wish my nose had stopped running. It's driving mad every time I bend down. Oh. I know. <laughs> Poor Debbie. Hey, tell you. Oh my goodness, that one's been literally scalped, that paper pad. <laughs> look, we've got plenty. We'll be able to choose something in here. Let's have a look. That's going to make that oh, pop, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it a purple one? No, we'll, we'll take that one because that'll make that pop. So let's come down and uh, let's make a quick card while we're here. We've got plenty of time. We're amongst friends. Now then, what time did I size did I cut that down to? So that's now four and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to come in. Four and a half, five and a half. I've got a quarter of an inch. There's the first mat and layer. So that'll sit into the back of there. Let's pop that on the back. And then I want it to pop a little bit more again. So... I'll add a little bit of white underneath it, make that pop. Or shall I add a bit of black? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, a bit, mm. more, a bit more drama. Mm -hmm. But this is what I'm saying about your Christmas makes. Don't overthink things. Do you know, when you've got great dyes like this at these kind of prices, mm -hmm. you could be making uh, fabulous, quick, easy cards instantly, um, which is what I have a way to just show you now with this one. Let's pop. I do that quite a lot. I stick my mats and layers down and then I trim to size afterwards. I do it all the time, Becky. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. My friend Chris she used to say to me, how can you just do that without it all going a bit skew with? However, um, I do love mm. um, this way because I just think it's that... You can measure them, by all means. That now measures at five by six, so I know that I could go in with this mat and take it up. Now, I'm going to go a bit, a bit bigger. So I said, did I say five by six? Yep. So let's go up another half inch this time rather than... And then six and a half. Let's see if that'll work. And it'll create a bigger frame. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking nice. And this looking great. Yeah, it's coming together. I do like, I do like mats and layers. I tend to normally work with one, but mm. I said this to you yesterday, Becky, sometimes it's nice to um, add multiples because it makes your project pop even more. If, um, if you put multiples, should you put more... You should put something in the inside of your 
cords to balance to stop it, it from topping yeah. over yes absolutely that's a good call out that one because um that's right um literally to, to it will topple over if you've got something weighty on the front the minute you put that onto a front card and it hasn't got the same at the back yeah. it will topple over I, okay. I, I promise it'll topple right over but if you've uh, gutted so, yeah. it it would have been all right if you gutted all of those layers it yes okay. yeah yeah and plus don't forget i've also used um or purpose glue yeah. which gives that extra now i think because i've got that on a card base i'm going to put that onto a card black card base and i'm going to go right six by seven okay so six by seven and again just continue to build those up i am going to stop here because i'm going to pop this onto a card but i'm going to keep that nice and now that's quite dramatic, doesn't it? It is really nice. Yeah, so, and then I'll just put my back part to it. So six by seven, and I'll come eight by six and attach those to the front. And we've got another sheet of black. Now I am at home. <laughs> like crafting in my craft room. <laughs> Chuck everything outside and just start uh, building up those layers. And your card. So six by seven. And then I just want to pop in there a little score. Keep putting this scoreboard away, Becky. To get yeah, don't tidy up. up. That is the key. No. <laughs> um, and I said, did I say six by seven? You did. So why have I gone that way? I will have a top loader. Yeah. So let's pop in our score line at the seven inch mark. Where's that score? until gone there we go pop the glue and then just pop that onto the front base and i do tend to make i've said said this before i tend to make my own card bases mm -hmm. by general literally just by popping that together. You've seen me just do that. And the only thing I need to add now, of course, is the stamp. So let's grab a stamp. Let's go in with, what shall we go? Joy to the world or a holy night or silent night, Becky? Which one do you want? Joy to the world. Joy, Joy to, the world. to the world. Let's grab a little rocker block and pop that on a rocker block. Get some ink. Let's pop that there. Now, because I've used like a pink background, I'm going to stamp onto some pink cardstock. This is smooth, actually, so I'll get away with it. Um, rather than white, I think white will distract from what mm -hmm. I've done uh, because there's no white on there. Yeah. So, pop that on. Let's have a little look. I could always chop that down if it's wrong. Go to the world, trim that down. And I'll trim that to one by one and three quarters. Attach that to a little piece of black again. I like this sort of crafting. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I like the idea of like doing a like ready, steady, cook kind of thing. So you don't know what you're going to get. You just you know, literally ha get handed a. A bag and you've got to create something out of this is what we used to have bag. to do in craft wars oh yeah so they used to give us julie will tell you she used to give us all the same yeah we hadn't got a clue we'd then have 15 minutes to create something literally a card project whatever it was yeah and this is how we used to craft back in the day um, I'm idea. going to add another pink layer on because I think it'll make that pop that little bit more just mm -hmm. by adding that on if I put the black on the black it will kind of get lost again so Let's just pop a little bit of glue at the back of there. I think we should bring on. back Craft Wars. I, I think loved Craft Wars. For those people that will remember Craft Wars, they'll tell you they all loved Craft Wars. It was good fun. And then I'm just going to add, let's add a little foam pad to the back of that. And then just attach that to our card. And literally, you've just seen me create this from nothing. <laughs> from scratch.
scratch. I think I'm going to go up in that top corner. And there you go. Amazing. And I could add a couple of little gems on. Uh, but you've just seen me make that from start to finish. Because um, I didn't have a demo plan for that one. But it just goes to show that sometimes your Christmas crafting does not have to be like well thought out in terms of what kind of you mm. you've got the dies that do all that for you mm. that is just a little bit of an inky background at the back and um if i were in craft wars i'd be quite proud of myself because i'd have made that within the 15 yeah. minutes <laughs> so yes yeah i haven't lost the knack in terms of the craft wars although i've got a bit of tidying up to this is what used to be like for me when i was craft wars okay, johnny will I tell you <laughs> used to have such a mess so i need a few minutes becky okay uh, to tidy up no problem uh, but yeah i just you know this is what i wanted to show you you know i had already things pre prep pre-done it's just sometimes nice to do this kind of crafting to show you um especially when you've got dyes at that price yeah if you haven't yeah. got them, get them. Yeah. Because that is a not to be repeated price offer. Mm -hmm. It really is fabulous uh, for a beautiful set of dies that are so easy to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm really impressed with that. Um, lots of people are messaging in. Mary Pat says, what a lovely card. Crofty Stacey Lou says, love this Debbie, such inspiration. And Elizabeth says, beautiful card. I think it's incredible that you've managed to get that so, put that together so quickly. Really liking that. We are going to take a quick break. We'll give you the opportunity to grab a quick drink, check out your baskets, and we will see you in a couple of moments. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what does she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you kids. just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry, yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the, and so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Welcome to Club Inspire. 
the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hello everybody, welcome back. Oh my goodness, a lot of love for that last card. Um, interesting how, you know, like you say, you do something completely off the cuff um, and, and actually is wowed everybody. I think that's really good. Um, loads of people loving that. Um, lots of people loving Craft Wars. Um, Cynthia says I love Craft Wars, bring it back. Anne says you should bring back Craft Wars. There are lots of days when there are two craft experts. Robbie says I loved Craft Wars, bring it back. Mary Beth says I did really love Craft Wars, such fun and laughter. And Eleanor says yes, bring back Craft Wars, please. I would love to have a go at craft wars i like that idea that sounds great um and, and i quite like i like the idea of doing you know, a bit of craft bit of making completely unplanned um and just to see where where it goes and i think sometimes these things uh, create the best um items now if you haven't watched any of the other earlier shows you'll be wondering what is this over here and this relates to the 12 days of craftmas every day we are going to be spinning the wheel and giving you the opportunity to win a free gift or get a discount and today when i span the wheel it landed on free gift the free gift today is when you spend 10 pounds or 10 dollars you can get this love and kisses stamp and die set this is only um, valid up until 11.59 UK time um, today and then tomorrow we'll spin it again um, well we won't but Ben will and we'll see what he lands on um, who knows you can see all sorts of different things on there different every day I suppose although if you get a free gift tomorrow would it be the same one I don't know who knows who knows I'm sure it'll be a different free gift um, as I said before if you have any questions about um, any crafting queries um, message in Debbie is here to answer your questions I just I put that out there I didn't ask you if you're all right with me saying you're gonna answer the questions <laughs> I've just decided yeah it's yeah, fine really don't worry <laughs> Oh, holy night. It's coming up very soon and we have a wonderful um, collection here for you. Um, the first one I'm going to show you in this bundle is your um, good tidings. These are your sentiments. I love the script on this. I think it's really, really pretty. Very traditional um, kind of swirly script with all those beautiful sentiments um, for Christmas. And um, this next one, look. I am fated. There is something wrong with stamps and me. There you go, like that, I'm gonna just hold on to it. That I love, I think this is brilliant. This is Away in a Manger. This is a stamp and die set. So you get this fantastic kind of nativity scene in a snow globe. I think that is absolutely brilliant. I love that one. And um, this next one is your Star of Wonder die set. You can see how it creates, um, you've got two different dies there. One for cutting out all that intricate layer there and this one cutting out that mat um, behind it. The next one is your Silent Light. This is a die with that beautiful script, just much larger, um, which is gorgeous. This next one is your Nativity with um, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus in the manger um, in dies. This is Let Us Adore Him, um, which I always say the baby looks too big to be a newborn. Um, and do, who was it? I was watching, someone said, is that someone that's fallen over and people are picking them up? <laughs> Um, and now I can't s not see that. Um, no, of course it isn't. It is Mary and Joseph looking down on the baby Jesus. Um, this one is lovely. This is All is Bright. This is a really fabulous, edgeable, and actually something you can use throughout the year. There's nothing particularly festive or nativity-ness um, in here, but you've just got lots of stars. And then finally, we've got this gorgeous embossing folder. This is your Shining Bright. Um, well, I say finally, it's not finally, because we also have a 12 by 12 paper pad in this bundle. Um, this is stunning, beautiful as always. Fantastic, intricate design on one side, a more muted pattern on the rear. Um, lots of um, sort of images of the nativity in here. You've got angels with their trumpets. Um, you've also got beautiful flowers and florals, as well as sort of spires and sort of the scenes of Bethlehem with um, 
I call them the um, three kings because I don't believe there are three wise men. Um, but you can see them walking with their camels and the nativity scene throughout there. Um, beautiful paper pad, as always, a 12 by 12 paper pad. The quality of the paper is amazing and really, really beautiful designs um, in here. This and all of the other stuff, just £35 or $45. Platinum, £28 wow. or $36 for all of that. Really, really that is good a deal. really good deal. Yeah, really good deal. And as you say, even if you've already done your sort of Christmas crafting for this year, you know, get ahead. Um, yeah. Start for next year or, or get these ready for next year. And you've got a few samples over there. I have, and I'm going to treat you to a little demo as well. Ooh, um, lovely. Now, I, haven't, I still haven't got this collection, so I used uh, Tracy and Julia's set mm -hmm. to, uh, to prep with. Um, now I've seen the price. <laughs> get your own. <laughs> I, feel I've, I feel I've got to get it alone for this die that I'm showing you. I think this die is absolutely fabulous. Um, it's like you said, I can see more than just a Christmas use with that one. Mm. And it looks beautiful whether you pop it on the, you know, the side of a card or yep. on the front of a card panel like that one. Uh, that away in a manger uh, die and stamp set is stunning. Stunning. I love that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, look, every single one of these is what I call traditional Christmas. That is absolutely superb. Um, a lovely, beautiful sample there. Again, that away in the manger, stamp and die sets, using the Mary and Joseph there with that lovely star of wonder. Make literally a focal part of your card there is that embossing folder. And then use some of the uh, dies in there to uh, make that stand out. Mm -hmm. Again, look at that one. Just That's using nice. some paper and a couple yeah. of that star of wonder. Make that absolutely super easy to use. That one, you've seen me do that technique where you sand back, yeah. use a bit of textured cardstock, linen cardstock, and sand that back. Uh, miss that one there. Look at that. Absolutely oh, stunning. Um, if, if, whew, I've got no words for that one. It's beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful how uh, Rebecca's created that. Oh, 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 it's a easel card. I like Ooh. that even more now. Um, absolutely phenomenal. That die is just, I just love that die. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. It really is. Um, and like I said, now I've seen it at that price, I think I might have to have this yeah. one. Uh, now, I've taken the Away in a Manger stamp. Now, I've already pre-stamped this one. Um, and normally, what I would do is I would die cut that out. So you've got the die cut to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just going to lay down a bit of colour before, um, just so we can have a little play. We've got a little bit of time to be able to play okay. with this one. Um, so I'm going to use some of my tri-blend um, pens and I'm going to go in and just add that little... A little bit of a touch, little baby Jesus head there. I think this is so it's such a lovely, lovely set. It really is. Uh, let's come in with gold brown blend. When we would go on holiday, we used to buy a, a snow globe as a present for my in-laws. Did you? Yeah, wherever we were, we'd look for the the like the worst present, I suppose, for want of a better term. Um, I, I do like a snow globe, but we'd find some really hideous ones because it was quite funny. And they had a little, um, deco little decorative bit in their um, bathroom, the, the guest bathroom, where they put all these things. One year, we got them a snow globe, but we also managed to get, this was in Thailand, um, it was a photograph of us put onto a plate with tartan all the way around the edge of it. In Thailand, I mean, random. We were getting on a boat and they took a photograph of us as we got on the boat for a day trip. And when we came back, they were selling these um, <laughs> plates. Um, yeah, very random, really strange. But I do like a snow globe. Can you get them still? I think you can. Yeah? Yeah, can I think you? you can still get them, yeah. So I'm just doing a little bit of colouring around the outside. These are lovely sized stamps as well, so you're not having to overthink. There's not a lot of... You know, a lot of big, a, a big area to yep. colour. It's a nice, it's a nice size uh, in terms of the colour that you're going to lay down. Um, and I'm just going to bleach a little bit of that out just under there. The same, just there, and then continue to to build these up. There was, um, I think it was, did Paul. Paul McCartney had uh, an exhibition on uh, photographs um, when he was in the Beatles, the, his own photographs. Um, yeah, I think it was, um, I can't think where it was, maybe it was it Tate Britain or somewhere like that. And um, he was telling a story on an interview. Did you hear this about, the, um, about Christmas time? With, no. um, 
um, John Lennon. No. Um, that they'd all been, and I can't remember exactly the, the things, but they'd all been drinking and it was quite late at night and John said he was going to walk home. And so he walked home um, and ended up having a long conversation with these two people that he met um, on the way home. And it was a very much one-sided conversation because actually what he'd done is stopped outside the church where they had a life-size nativity scene and be discussing what he'd been doing with uh, Mary and um, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just thought that, that made me laugh. You could just imagine that happening, couldn't you? That's hilarious. Too, too much champagne, I think, was probably had that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Have you heard their song, their new song? No. Have you not heard it, Becky? No. Yeah, they've managed to do it with some vocals of John Lennon. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then they've gone, so Ringo and Paul have gone into the studio um, and laid down uh, their, their things over the top. It's really quite, it's quite a moving song, actually. Yeah. And more sad because obviously what mm. a great talent he was. Never yeah. truly appreciated his music until I got older. Mm -hmm. I used to laugh at my dad because my dad always used to say to me, you know, like with, with, with music and that, mm. and I'd be like, the Beatles, I mean, really? Um, nah, not for me. I'm more into, you know, 80s pop and things yeah. like that. And he'd be like, just wait till you're older, Debbie. Just wait till you're older. Yeah. And it's true, your musical tastes change. Uh, David Bowie, I mm. wouldn't have never entertained when I was younger. Uh, oh my God, I absolutely, same queen. Mm. And I would never have entertained the music, but yet absolutely love the stuff now. It's just the weirdest thing. And I always remember that conversation he had with me, with uh, the music saying that, you know, it's timeless. It's one of those kind of musical things that will stay in history for a long time to come. And it's mm. absolutely Very true. true. Absolutely true. Um, so yes, what, what, wise old, I'm going to say wise old man, he'll shout at me for calling him a wise old man. <laughs> uh, a wise man. A yeah. wise man. I think you're very much influenced by the music your parents listen to as well, aren't you? Yeah. Um, my, um, my, my daughter's friend, um, her parents listen to the Beatles all the time and that's consequently what she listens to. Um, whereas my daughter's brought up listening to 90s house. Um, so that's all she listens to. She listens so, to what? 90s house. House music? Oh yeah. Oh, my cousins were into all that. Oh, I love, love a bit of house music. Yeah. Like a bit of trance, me. Love a bit of what? Trance? Trance, yeah. <laughs> I know. You'd look at me and think, no, not Becky, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got a very eclectic taste in music, I have. I've got everything from Book's Face to the Prodigy on mine. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I absolutely... Every time I put my Prodigy music on, I think, think about you. Yeah, I do think about you. <laughs> I'm thinking, is Debbie listening to Twisted Firestarter as well? <laughs> oh dear, I watched little clips of when they did, because they just did a tour, haven't they? Mm -hmm. And they actually brought Keith Flint and uh, Digital onto... Oh, oh it, was, it were fab. Um, continue to colour this in. I've just chosen... The, the colours that I used with this was ice blue, fair skin, gold brown, uh, shades as well as blends and the dull green blend um and just continue to color that in obviously when you've done your die cutting and it, it does come to life it, mm -hmm. it takes a little while it's not overly big but it takes a little while to color yeah. those in i put some foam pads onto the back of mine becky because i'm going to create a little bit it's just a very simple card again using some of those beautiful papers mm -hmm. in that collection i'm just going to use um a little bit of all-purpose And put that mat and layer on because that's going to sit into there um, before i do that though i've got a card base now again i've made this uh, card base um, and it actually measures in at again um just slightly bigger than um a five by three quarter it's mm -hmm. five three quarter this way uh, but it's six uh, this way so okay. just uh, just with the shape of the card um of course if you are not you know you can absolutely go and grab hold of the card bases that we now do here at Crafters Companion because we make our, our card bases, yep. different sizes, craft card, white card, black card, yeah. uh, different size of card, five by seven, six by six. Go and have a look over on the website. Uh, really fabulous having um, those in our library now. I'm debating which side of card sucks that... Never know which side to use, Becky. It's hard to choose, it's isn't it? It's hard to choose, it is. It's hard to choose. But I think I want the statement stamp to stand out, so I'm going to pop that into there 
and then I'm going to lift these as well. So I'm just going to put a few foam pads onto the back of my base. Just over there. Pop a couple more. It sounds like there's a party going on outside. Is that what you can hear? I can, I can hear, hear something. I can hear music. Like, um, yeah, like links. I didn't think I would. I thought, I, I, you know, I thought, have I got something wrong with my ears now as well? Because I thought I could hear some music. I, I, I think someone's having a, a, a Did party you have some music on this morning when we were scraping cars? Yeah, my rate, yeah, my, yeah, did you know who? <laughs> yeah, I had, um, fire starter, twisted fire did starter. Did you really? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, no I, I, the radio was on in my car when we were, um, cleaning our, cleaning our cars this morning. Cleaning, oh, goodness me, please tell me it's not been snowing today. Have I put that on monkey? I think I'm okay. Um, oh, yeah. It took us ages, and if we, we hadn't had Debbie's very long broom, we wouldn't have been able, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to clean my car. Yes, I don't I, My arms are too short to clean the roof of my I car. I told you what Craig used, didn't I? Yes, yeah. He used a... <laughs> used the cutting plates <laughs> and scraped off the top of his car. And I'm like, you're going to take the paint off, man. What are you doing? Uh, but it was the only thing he had the hand, mm -hmm. bless him. Um, I've lost my sentiment again, would you believe? Oh, so I it's a good job I did one earlier. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just add your sentiment <laughs> on um, and create, you know, a lovely little piece. That that does all the talking. Yeah. Um, but it really is a gorgeous traditional Christmas collection. And I absolutely love this, as, as I know you will, especially that price. Yeah, absolutely. We need to do a demo, vote for a demo of the okay, show. Okay, I'll go grab all do... my mix. Yeah. You're going to do them over do it there or here? I'll, I'll do them over here, Becky. You yeah. stay there, you'll be fine. Um, oh, I forgot about my I don't, I don't want to walk in there. It's too far. <laughs> it's a long way. I'm trying to remember where we started. Was this the first one, Johnny? Yep. Right, so number one was our half creator card using the poinsettia. So that's number one. Uh, number two, I believe, was our Noel card. So number two. Then number three, we did the Christmas corners. Yep. So that's number three. Number four was my very impromptu put together. <laughs> Number four, the one that I didn't put any time and effort into because I just made it here for you. <laughs> and then number five, get me, Johnny, five. Wow. Uh, number five, whole holy night. So it's five, four, three, two, or one. You decide. Brilliant. Hard to cheese. But I know what one is my money's on. And I'm just not going to say anything about it. Um, so lo lots of people, I'm just seeing in the messages, um, loads yeah. of people are saying they want to bring back Craft Wars. We'll suggest it. That's all we can do. We'll see what we can do for you. Um, so I want to show you the festive frames um, again because these are absolutely beautiful. We've got some really good deals here. The whole idea is these are... Uh, oh. Oh, oh excuse. Wow, there's, there's a lot of there. there's a lot of thing going on outside. I think that's where the music's coming from. Um, these are really brilliant deals um, with um, Christmas for Christmas frame dies, Christmas goodies that you've got here. And um, this first one here is your um, Christmas. You've got all of those beautiful dies to cut all of that um, holly around the outside. This next one is your piece. We then have joy. And then finally, we have Noel um, with a very sort of intricate dye um, with all of those little um, snowflakes around the, the outside. And um, the price for this is just £30 or $38. The platinum price is £24 or $30.40. These are absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of metal you're getting with these. They're quite detailed dyes. And you've got some samples over there, haven't you, yeah. Debbie? Yeah, really lovely, very easy, put to, uh, as you saw with the demo, put them together uh, for any of your Christmas dates. This would look lovely on a box front. Um, so again, absolutely fabulous. And you don't really need anything else because it's got the it's got the sentiment in there too as well. I love that one with the stars. Uh, that lovely Noel one. Take them into any style card making. This one's a little uh, side stepper. Um, that beautiful box is just absolutely gorgeous. And again, just a couple of colours there. Uh, but 
every single one of these you're going to be able to create with ease because the dies do all the hard work for you they're absolutely fabulous and that price on the screen for all of those that's four dies that's four by days so lowest price there 24 pounds or 30 dollars 40 is an absolutely incredible price for lots of different styles of your card making that you want to want to create with that's beautiful. Love that. Really like that. Um, and for such a great price as well. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you, because I've got loads of deals around here. Um, these are your um, half creator cards. Is that what we call them? Half creator cards. Um, these don't... Well, actually, once you see the samples, the finished samples, these, they really come into their own, but they look really... Um, striking just in the black and white don't they to show you what we, we mean so half of them cut out of the um, the card and half of them cut into the card this first one is your yuletide wreath we then have your joyous poinsettia um, which you saw in the demo that Debbie did um, a little while ago that's gorgeous and then you've got your jubilant bells um, just £25 or $29. Platinum price is £20 or $23.20. Um, these are stunning. And actually, the samples you had earlier are stunning, but the cards you made is absolutely stunning as well. Yeah, we've got some lovely makes here as well. One of my favourites, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I, just, I love the poinsettia. I love poinsettias at Christmas time. Mm -hmm, me too. Um, and this one that Debbie made is stunning. It's, there's no other word for it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, a lovely reverse gatefold and then... Add some acetate at the back and done a bit of paper piece in. It's bright, it's beautiful. You can create things like this uh, with ease because those dies do all that hard work for you. Um, absolutely beautiful samples from our fabulous design team. Mm. They create a card in an instant. In an instant. Yeah. And they've got that ability to stay in the cardstock as well as cut out of your cardstock at the same time. Um, and whichever way you decide to make these, they are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. How is that yellow one done? Is that, that been one, So what or... Marie's done with this yeah. is Marie has popped the die in, like I showed you at the beginning, yeah. and then she's attached, so she's, she's run it through again, but she's then popped the pleasers back onto the top of it. Okay. Um, using, and she's used the tri-blends on things like that, the alcohol markers mm -hmm. for that. It looks really effective and it's very simple to do. But again, here you look at this one, cutting into the cardstock again, that bit of gold, looks absolutely fabulous. Box making, don't pop it in your box making. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the other ones. Let me just make sure. Nope, can't show you those because we haven't got those anymore. But they're absolutely fabulous dies. Fabulous price. Mm. Big dies. You get a lot of metal for your money again. And like I said, every single year you're going to be able to use these. It's traditional, traditional wreath, traditional poinsettia, mm -hmm. and the traditional bells. Absolutely phenomenal value for money, and it, it very, very easy to use as well. Yeah, gorgeous. Like those. Um, I've got a winner. We've got a winner. I've got a winner. Um, which one did you think was going to win? Um, I'll be totally honest, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just wondering if number four got it. The one, the one. Is it? It is number four. <laughs> 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 the one I just threw together in but less I, than 10 minutes. You show, you show how it's easy, easy to do. Yeah. And that, that's the thing, isn't it? The whole yeah. idea about those creative cards is to make them fast. And that's how, exactly what you did. Beautiful card, but they were all lovely. Thank you. Um, Thank very you very much. much. Like that. Yeah. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> um, uh, what we're going to say here? Um, it really, uh, Mary Pat says it was a really hard, uh, it was really challenging to vote for a favourite. They were all really good. And Stephanie says, very hard choice. You do such lovely work. So that's always nice to hear, isn't it? Um, Christmas corner die. So you've seen um, some demos with them. Um, you, you want to get them. I know you do, because they're a great price again. Um, this first one is your um, snow crystals. And all of these corners are slightly different. So obviously you get two different dies in each set, and they are different. Um, so it makes them really versatile. We saw them being used early on, these particular <laughs> ones, and they are gorgeous. And the next one is your uh, entwined holly. This one is your Ring Out the Bells. And I like this ribbon that you've got over here, which I think looks really pretty. Um, this one here is your Christmas decor, where you've got your, we call them baubles in um, the UK, but ornaments um, over here. And then finally, we have the Poinsettia Splendor. 
Um, that is um, the whole collection. And a great price, £14, $90. That's if you're not, you know, not a platinum member. There's so many of you are. If you're platinum, £11.20 or $15.20. A really good deal. Um, Debbie, do you have any samples for these ones? The Christmas corners. corners. Yeah. yeah, so we'll bring out the one that I did. I'll fetch a few of these out for you. Yeah. Uh, my favourite, I absolutely love this one that Caroline did. Um, take it into your... Uh, gift making as well as your gift you know your Christmas cards this is a beautiful box that's been created just by simply coloring in them that looks mm -hmm. absolutely incredible I love that one that um, Sean did because she's just taken a focal piece of cardstock paper and then used those to decorate that edge again this one we love this one from Caroline yeah uh, it's absolutely fabulous this is what you can be doing mixing and matching with your sentiments but it could be that little embellishment piece. A uh, very simple, easy one with a bit of an inky background mm -hmm. and then putting those corners into there. Um, and whether or not you're using them to be an accent on a card, so obviously the focal stage is there, it's that lovely uh, sentiment stamp. But you can use them to actually be a statement piece on your card as well. Uh, so that is those gorgeous corner dies at that fantastic price. Do you know, I've just seen the price. Yeah. <sighs> For all of those dads. Yeah. That's insanely good. Um, and again, a very useful set of dies each and every single Christmas, whether they be the focal, whether they be that embellishment, or just that added little, little piece. Honestly, absolutely, absolutely phenomenal value for money. And they're fairly new, those corner dies, aren't they? I'm sure we launched them in October or something like that, not very long ago. Um, now, these are something we all need because, let's be honest, there's always that person you can't think what you're going to buy, get them for Christmas, and you get them a gift card. And the gift card packaging is quite uninspiring, so why not make your own gift card um, holder for them? Um, these are a absolutely brilliant set of stamps and dies and templates. You can see here, this one is just your, like, your, your standard gift, and um, so very usable throughout the whole of the year. This will work for weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, christening, all of those sorts of things not just for Christmas you also get die uh, die here with love not with love but love um, you've also got some little um, uh, dies to cut out the polka dots you've got the die for that little beautiful ribbon as well and you can see that you've got that worker die for holding um, the gift card you'll also get the template to enable you to create this um, to, all together as well as those stamped sentiments so this first one is your festive gift the next one is more Christmassy. You've got your Christmas stocking. Um, but as I said before, we've given you plenty here to embellish it. So you've got all of those dies to create the presents as well. Um, great for decorating all sorts of things. And you've got the die at the bottom to um, cut out the word joy. Um, really, really usable. Again, different sentiments in there as well as the templates and the dies. This next one is your festive snowman. And as we saw on that sample earlier, I think Debbie might have that with the melted um, face. It looks so good. Um, you've got the sentiment of snow down here for all of these stamped sentiments over here. Um, and again, really useful. Any kind of gift card is going to go in here. Um, and I just think that that makes it really, really worthwhile because um, often for teenagers, you never know what to buy them. A gift card is always something that they want. Or even if you're going to give them money, you could put the money in here as well. This last one, of course, course it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Christmas without Santa um, you've got all of the different Santa elements here what does that say Mary I read that as messy <laughs> Messy Christmas to you all. Let's be honest, that's the mess that we make. Um, all of these, all four, just £15 or $19. Platinum is £12 or $15.20. Debbie, you've got everyone's favourite over there. I love this one. It's yeah. my favourite sample, just because I love how Laura's taken it and melted that little snowman, but still kept that gift card older element into there as well. Uh, that lovely Father Christmas, whether you want to take this to card making or simply just have it as that gift card. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can fit any of your gift cards into there. I, I, again, I don't see Christmas with this one. I see no. birthdays all year round, anniversaries, all those kind of things. But they're absolutely phenomenal. Value for money when you see the price on the screen for all of those. They are fantastic. They really are.
gorgeous and such an amazing price well, i do hope you've enjoyed watching them um, masterclass it's been all about christmas um, debbie and i are going to have a quick break about an hour and we'll be back we're just going to have an hour um, for second chance sunday today rather than the two hours so just one hour but we have loads of deals for you so it's all the deals that you have perhaps missed out on this week you'll be able to see them on shop the day um, if you um, do miss the show um, but you'll see all the deals that will give them as much deals as we possibly can in the hour and remember if you're buying anything today up until midnight tonight and um, spending over 10 pounds or 10 dollars you can get your free gift which comes with your 12 days of Christmas, which is your love and kisses die and stamp set um, so do remember to put maybe to get that into your basket if you are shopping today but we will be back with you in just an hour's time take care see you later bye bye